I've been thinking about switching distros recently. I don't know if it's just because I sort of feel like I should make changes or because they're actually justified, but let me explain my reasoning. Um, so I'm using Arch and Parabola now. Parabola on my laptop, so Arch on my desktop. Um, and I've been thinking about switching to a distro without system D. Uh, there are a couple reasons. One is just to try it out, which is a legitimate reason. But another reason is, I mean, you know, a lot of the complaints about system D are legitimate in that system D is highly monolithic. It is one point of failure for your entire system. Uh, it can be exploited, yada, yada, yada. Of course, it is free software. There's nothing, you know, terrible about it. But it's just, you know, if... If there's a better system out there, I want to be familiar with it and I want to use it. Um, so I've been contemplating switching to a non-system D distro. Originally, uh, that was probably going to be Gentoo. And I've, I've been sort of tempted by Gentoo for quite a while now. There are a couple different reasons. Um, uh, it might be nice to use a, a compilation-based um, you know, distro and compile everything from source. Uh, I can, you know, custom make my kernel, all this kind of stuff. Now, I might not need any of that. And in fact, it might be a pain figuring out what kind of use flags I actually want, yada, yada. Um, that's a whole ordeal by itself. But I've sort of been tempted to use Gentoo for whatever optimization I can get out of it. Uh, you can also deblob Gentoo, so you can use it as if it's a totally free operating system. Um, so that is, you know, one reason I've always sort of wanted to try it uh, as well. You can get, Gentoo gives you pretty much anything. Any optionality is sort of built into the system just because the system is so minimal. Um, now, my main reason that I haven't switched to it yet is that I have a couple computers which are total correlates. Um, so I have this, uh, you know, X60, which has the an Intel Core Duo. Uh, my X200, my main machine, has an Intel Core 2 Duo, which, you know, I can probably compile everything on it, but it might be a big pain. Um, I do compile programs on it as of now. I do make my videos on it, but, you know, I just, uh, it might be more than it's worth. Um, so originally I was like, ah, maybe switching a distro is sort of a meme anyway. I don't have to worry about it. Oh, as a side note, I realized my, if you search up Linux distro on YouTube, uh, the first result you're going to get nowadays is my video complaining about how Linux distros, you, you shouldn't even give a shit about them. So I don't know. Have I po poisoned the well on YouTube with that? I've, I've started to see other people mimic the stuff I say, which is very nice. People with more subscribers too. So, uh, anyway. So originally, I was like, okay, maybe Gentoo is just a meme. But the other option, and I totally forgot about this distro because not a lot of people use it, but there is Void Linux. Uh, Void Linux is has no system D, uh, but otherwise it's pretty much equivalent to Arch with one additional thing. Void Linux allow actually sort of has two package managers, one which installs binaries and one which compiles everything from source. Um, and that's something that I think is pretty creative, pretty interesting, def definitely gives you what you want. Of course, you have no systemd as well, so I can try that out. In fact, I've already installed Void Linux on my X420, and I'm sort of trying to reproduce my rice. I'm not doing it actively, I just sort of, whenever I have time, I'll get on. Um, Void Linux, there are some things I haven't, you know, they, I don't think they have... Uh, all the, you know, LaTeX uh, repositories, like they have, you can install LaTeX, you can do it easily, but you can't necessarily install um, all of the packages in the, the, what is it, the CTAN or whatever it is easily. So that's one of the reasons I haven't switched over yet. But Void Linux strikes me as something, uh, definitely a distro, if, if you're looking for a distro, I suggest Void Linux. Um, you know, if you're some kind of ricer. Uh, the install is also a little easier than Arch, but it's not so as easy as a graphical install. So, you know, if you're a beginner, you might not want to try it. But it's definitely, there are definitely some perks to it. Um, but then again, there are reasons for me to stay with Arch and Parabola. Now, Arch, of course, no longer has 32-bit uh, operating system support, but I can get over that because my only 32-bit system, I use Parabola on it now, which still has it. Although I don't know if Parabola is actually, I don't know if they're going to get rid of it as well because Parabola is sort of downstream from Arch, but whatever. 
Um, but there are still some reasons to use it. I think chief among which is just the community. Uh, when I say community, it's not because I have a bunch of friends in the community. That's usually not what people mean. Uh, but that it gives you an area where you can like look stuff up because a lot of other people have had the same problems and you can just follow their directions. Um, now the AUR does have a little more stuff than Void Linux does, but not actually that much. Uh, people talk great about the AUR, but a lot of it's just that Arch doesn't have all the typical stuff in its normal repositories. Um, so anyway, I think we're going to stick with Parabola and Arch right now, uh, but I'm going to gradually switch to Void Linux, and I totally recommend people to experiment with Void Linux, partially because I want to know what it's like. Uh, and any hints are welcome, so feel free to throw whatever you want in the comments section. Oh, by the way, this video isn't uh, relevant to whatever I'm doing. I just decided, you know, I need something pretty to look at. Uh, so that's there. So anyway, if you have any comments, any suggestions about n using a non-systemd uh, system, feel free to, you know, throw them in the comments or whatever. So anyway, see you next time, guys.